Hey, what's up guys? This is Victor here and today I want to talk about Moonbeam which is having its pre-sale. It's called a crowd loan but I'll explain that shortly and that is something that has already started so if you are interested there isn't a lot of time you have to register as soon as possible but before I proceed as always I must preface that I'm not a financial advisor. Please endeavor to do your own research before you make any investment decisions and two if you're new to this channel you're welcome on this platform we talk about new cryptocurrency projects before they go mainstream. If that is something that's of interest to you please feel free to subscribe to this channel that encourages me to research these projects and bring them to your attention. Now let's get to the gist. So Moonbeam is a power chain on the Polkadot network. I know on this channel I am biased greatly towards projects that are running on Cardano because I believe strongly that Cardano is the future but the sky is big enough for many birds to fly and I believe that the guys at Polkadot are doing some fantastic things. Also if you think about the history of Polkadot they are and Cardano have a shared history as being co-founders of the Ethereum network. So there is a common history binding these three projects together and so that is one of the reasons why a lot of people believe that even uh, Polkadot has great potential going forward. You can see that in the value of the Polkadot uh, price that has been ramping up in the last couple of days especially with the launch of the um, parachain auctions that are taking place right now on the Polkadot network. Moonbeam is one of the projects that are vying for those parachain auctions and I'm going to try and make this as simple as possible because it can tend to get complex. So what is a parachain? A parachain is a custom project specific blockchain that is integrated within the Polkadot or the Kusama network. Now parachains are customized for a number of use cases and they feed into the main blockchain called relay chains considered to be the heart of the Polkadot network. Now the relay chain is, is responsible for the network shared security, the consensus and the transaction settlements and thus by being integrated to the relay chain all parachains benefit from the relay chains base features. If I were to give an analogy, I'll say a relay chain is like a multiplex that is being built by an independent contractor and then maybe a store like Walmart wants to open up its outlet within that multiplex. Now Walmart doesn't own the entire complex but Walmart owns its own store within that complex so I would say that the relay chain which is Polkadot is like the multiplex and Walmart is like the power chain. Walmart is able to take on um, suppliers, distributors, producers of different kinds to sell within this network but it's none of the business of the main multiplex. Walmart however would utilize resources within the multiplex like electricity, power, security and things of that nature and would have to pay for the use of that to the main um, administrators of the multiplex but they are still their own unique entities. It works the same way within the Polkadot network. You can have blockchains within blockchains as such that the, the mini blockchain which is the power chain is able to have its own currency, is able to run its own um, mode of governance as, and is able to stand independent, kind of independent of the main uh, relay chain and so you are able to have things like very low gas fees because you can set that you don't need to use the entire resources of the entire network to be able to run uh, transactions and you're able to like overcome some of the shortcomings that the main relay chain has and that is one of the things that Moonbeam has going for it. If I take a look at the people who are currently building on Moonbeam they have a link here on their website and you can see all the different applications that are already building on this power chain prior to its launch and that includes the like of Chainlink, The Graph, Anchor, Dodo, Orion, um, Covalent, a lot of big applications that are very big on the Ethereum side are already building within this power chain and this is one of the main reasons why I believe that Moonbeam is um, set for parabolic growth once they launch fully. If we take a look at their main website and they are primarily focused at um, being an Ethereum compatible smart contract power chain on Polkadot and why that is very important is because you see the power of the Ethereum ecosystem which is very big huge considering the fact that that was the first and the and for the longest time the best smart contract enabled blockchain in the entire crypto space. Unfortunately for Ethereum it has grown too big for what it's intended to do and so we now have a lot of issues with the Ethereum blockchain network including high gas fees, congestion as well as certain other issues that makes Ethereum not very feasible for many new projects to scale on. Now Polkadot and with Moonbeam especially as a parachain 
they are planning to onboard many of these applications as we have seen on the list of, de of developers that are building on Moonbeam already. They want to onboard them to the system to ensure that one, they can have a seamless transfer of the applications from the Ethereum side to their own side. And, and that means no need to rewrite the codes or to reconfigure the smart contracts. They should work the same way that they work on Ethereum. And then they build on or support for Solidity, Viper and anything that compiles to EVM byte code and that is something that those who have been developing on the ethereum side are actually used to being a power chain means that they are kind of a blockchain within a blockchain like i mentioned earlier and they have their own governance token which is called the glimmer token that's a digitalized smart contract platform moonbeam requires a utility code token to function our token glimmer token is central to the design of the network and cannot be removed without sacrificing security and essential functionality. Now the Glimmer token is not yet available and this is what you as an early level or first level investor will be hoping to get as a reward for participating in the crowd loan. Now what is the crowd loan? It is similar to what we have on the Cardano side which is we call um, delegating your tokens to a particular pool. Unlike Cardano, once you delegate your Polkadot tokens to a person that wants to participate in a parachain auction, you lock those part those you lock those Polkadot tokens for the period of time that it is vested. You don't have access to it. And um, that is where the differences lie. And the name is just nomenclature. Everybody likes to call their system or their consensus a different name. And on the Polkadot network, it's called a crowd loan. So the crowd would loan this project its Polkadots for the period of time to take them to bid for that parachain, parachain auction slot. And how do you go about doing this? On their Twitter page, there is a pinned tweet that provides the link to the pre-registration page. And on the pre-registration page, what you need to do is provide your email address where you would receive vital information regarding this particular project. Other things that you also need to make readily available is a Polkadot compatible wallet. And that you can get from Polkadot.js. They have some set of useful links that provide the right addresses to some of the tools that you will need to be able to um, trade or delegate or bind your Polkadot tokens. It's recommended that you use the Polkadot extension for your browsers, which includes the Chrome and Firefox browsers. Unfortunately, you can't use it for browsers like Brave. And once you install that, you would have your wallet integrated to your browser as an extension and that works in, in a way that is very similar to what we have on metamask from there you would need to also be able to send some polka dot tokens which is what you would need um, when eventually the auction when eventually the crown loan starts now all you're just doing right now is pre-registration and i need to also tell you this that there is uh, or there are restrictions uh, for certain regions unfortunately the usual suspect the united states is part of this and i cannot also participate in this project because i believe in one of the countries that is restricted from participating in this project and that is sad because i think that this is one of the most exciting projects that are on the pocket side if you look going by the number of people that are already following them on twitter for instance 110,000 people anticipating this one they also have a massive following on the telegram channels i'll be providing links to all these official channels in the video description i do think that if you are interested in this one you need to follow them because that's where a lot of information is coming out and um, at least that's where you get first-hand information before it becomes much more mainstream on places like uh, their website so in Important information regarding the crowd loan is that one, you need to have a pre-registration, putting your email address, like I mentioned earlier, the crowd loan itself is not going to happen until closer to November 11. It might seem like a long time from now, but we are already on the 20th of October. So it's not a long time if you look at it uh, realistically. And then we are also going to need to have a Polkadot address that you intend to use for the crowd loan. And that's the reason why you need to install a Polkadot um, compatible wallet, which I provide the link in the video description and then you need to also agree to the terms and conditions make sure that you're not in one of the countries that are prohibited from participating in this project 
and lastly if you are not familiar with how to get started on polkadot there's also a link in the video description that will take you through a tutorial on how to open your first polkadot account and that is all the information i have regarding moonbeam at this point in time as soon as i have more information i will try to bring them to your attention uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask i'll try to answer as many as i can and until i catch you guys in the next one um, stay blessed